everyone. Welcome to the game here on the 2K Sports Network. Coming to you from Metro Stadium. Playing on their home turf, we have the Renegades. They'll be defending against the Bandits. I'm Dan Stevens, and across from me is Peter O'Keefe. Okay, let's do a rundown of the all-pro talent in today's game. These two all-pros are what it's all about. Big-time performances, last-play heroics, and consummate professionalism. But the other team is also loaded with talent. Well, this is what I call an offense smorgasbord, Dan. I mean, really, how can any defense hope to hold these two guys from connecting up? Okay, Peter, here's the coin toss. All right, Barry. This should be fun. The Bandits will make the selection. What is the call? Tails. It is heads. We want the ball. The Renegades have won the toss and select to receive. Number nine, boots it downfield, and we're underway. Number one, fields it way back at the three. Stop at the 25. Number one, received that nice kick and a nice little run back after the catch. Good job. The Renegades offense takes the field and they will start at their own 25-yard line. Williams gains five on the play and that brings up second down. Number two fires this one over the middle, and it's caught just barely past the markers for a first. That's Ryan Walters threw three men around him, but was still able to make the catch. That, that's just criminal. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. First down, just a single receiver on the field. Williams has his number called on first down and gains about three yards. Second and six from Roy Renegade, 38 yards. Number two throws this on a rope, and he's on target for a gain of five. Number two made a nice throw there, got it right past the defender. A decent play, and they'll now face third and short. That's the key, Dan. Make third down easy, and they did just that. Now they just need to convert. We'll see what they do. Williams catches it in the flat, and he will be short of the markers. It'll be fourth down. Steve Clark targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. That's his second tackle so far. Number 14 lines up for the punt. Selected the punt. Bailey is deep to receive. Number 14 gets the ball and punts it away. Bailey takes it at the 17. Tackled at the 21. Antonio Bailey didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt.
The Bandits bring their offense on the field and will start the drive at their own 21-yard line. Number 21 gets the handoff and only gets back to the line of scrimmage. Number 21 had some blocking help on that last one, but he was still left with nowhere to go. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Number 14 fires this one over the middle and it's tipped incomplete. Number 43 shows swivel hips and burst to get in position for the denial. That takes instincts and awareness you, you just can't coach. If complete, that would have made for a bit shorter third down play, but the defense had other ideas. The anticipation to the throw was key here. It made all the pieces fall into place. Third down coming up. Third down and four wideouts in the game. Number 14 threw that one away, incomplete pass. It'll be fourth down. Number four lines up to punt after the three and out. Number four takes the long snap and punts it away. Number one feels the punt at the 38. Punt hard at the 45. Number one didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Renegades, stalled early last drive, will have to see what happens here. We'll start at their 45-yard line. Walters makes the catch out to the left and is well past the markers for a first down. Brian Walters just couldn't have been expecting this. Three defenders on his tail. There had to be someone else open. Risky, but the throw paid off. Nice catch, Peter, and his stats reflect that. Definitely, Dan. He's now got 24 yards on three catches. First down, two wideouts on the field. Number two throws a bullet to the flat, and the reception is made for a pickup of maybe a yard. Second and ten from the Bandits, 40 yards. Walters catches the heater left sideline, and that's a game of seven on the play. Brian Walters had nobody on him, and when the quarterback saw that, he quickly shot him the ball. This guy can really twist up the coverage in that short area. That's right, Dan. Those quick routes have been open for him all day. Obviously, that's what the defense wants to give him. Third and two.
First down, 10 yards to go. Williams pitches it in the flat, and that will be a gain of three yards. Number two throws a heater right sideline, and he's on target for a gain of five. Number 55 makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. That will bring up fourth down. Number 55 came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That was a fantastic job by the defense to stop what would have been a first down. I love to see Big D on third and short situations. Fourth down, defenses love to hear that from the refs. Fourth down and they're going for it. The Renegades want to talk it over and they take their first time out. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Number five kicks it from 35 yards, and they take the lead. Number 12 handles this high snap perfectly. Sets up the ball. There's the kick, and it's good. Three points. Number five kicks it away. Bailey fields the kickoff at the four. Stop <laughs> at the 30. Antonio Bailey was able to find some weak spots in the defense. Got a good run back off that kick. The Bandits will start this drive at their own 30-yard line. Number 14 throws a bullet to the flat, and the ball is caught at the 27, forced out at the 33. Second right. down, one man back. Two, two. Number 43 makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Number 43 turned his hips to get into position and tipped that ball away. Solid coverage. Number 14 passes this one, and it's tipped. 
Incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Number 20 read that one right out of the receiver's break and denied it. Well, the knee holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion. That was a good call by the defensive coordinator. Oh, it sure was. Perfect D for that situation. And it will bring up fourth down. Number four lines up for the punt. Number four takes the long snap and punts it away. Number one takes it at the 27. Tackled hard at the 29. Number one didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Renegades offense takes the field and they will start at their own 29 yard line. Number two, throws a heater, and it's caught at the 33, knocked out of bounds at the 38. Number one, has a guy shadowing him, but still manages to make the catch. He beats his man cold. It's all about staking your turf. The short game is working okay for them. It's been methodical, but they are moving the ball. Yeah, they need to strike deep at some point, though, to loosen up that secondary. Second and one. Ball is at 38 yards. <laughs> Northrop makes the hit in the backfield at the 34. Green Northrup keeps his man from getting back to the line. Let's watch. Pow! Oh, that's got to hurt. They backed them up, and now they make it a bit tougher on a third down ahead. Yeah, good defensive play there, Dan. Let's see if they can stand strong for this one here. Number two throws a heater right sideline, and it's tipped. Incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Antonio Bailey couldn't get all the way positioned for the interception, but still managed to graze the ball with his fingertips. Number 14 lines up to punt after the three and out. Bailey is deep to receive. Oh yeah, this one's mine! This one's mine! Number 14 gets the snap and punts it away. Bailey deals the punt at the 26. Tackled at the 29. Antonio Bailey didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Bandits have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive that starts at their own 29-yard line. Number 14 throws it to the left sideline, and it's tipped. Incomplete. Number 48 came in and got a hand on that football. Left no chance for a reception there. That was the fourth time they've swatted the ball out of the air, and the offense is looking frustrated. The D is showing excellent fundamentals right here. Hey. Second and ten from the Bandits. And he's stuck right there. Number 14 threw a perfect pass back there. You know, I had a better shot at it than the defense did. And, hey, I'm up here in the booth. They move the ball, and that'll bring up third down. Third down and four wideouts in the game. called on third down and gets tackled short of the markers. That will bring up fourth down. 
Number 56 brought down the ball carrier before the markers. There was some gain there, but not first. enough for the first. That's his third tackle of the game. Number four lines up for the punt. Number four gets the ball and punts it away. Number one fields it at the 22. Drag down at the 39. Number one gets some congratulations from his special teams coach on this one. See, he makes the catch, and now he's off to get some more good yards and help his team out with field position. Good play. The Renegades, stalled early last drive, will have to see what happens here. We'll start at their 39-yard line. Number two throws a bullet to the flat, and the reception's made at the 38, dragged down at the 43. Rex Williams snatched it out of the air without any challenge from the defense, Dan. You know, my grandmother could have covered him better. Whoa, this is a nice surprise. The coaches have made him involved, resulting in yet another catch. Yeah, working your runner into the throwing scheme poses huge matchup problems for the defense, and you saw it there. Second down, and they line up with three tight ends. Williams takes it for his fifth carry and heads out right, stopped at the 44. Third and five, ball at the 24 yard. Number two fires this one over the middle and it's knocked down at the line incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Number 22 makes a sharp move into a short pattern, but the ball ends up on the turf. That's one the offense should have been able to complete. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down, Dan. And when you don't convert, it really hurts. Number 14 lines up to punt after the three and out. Here I come, punter. I'm coming. I'm about to punt. Number 14 takes the snap and punts it away. Bailey fields the punt at the seventh to 23. Antonio Bailey got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The Bandits haven't gotten much out of their offense recently and are looking to get back on track here. This drive begins at their own 23-yard line. Number 21 will get stopped at the line, and that will bring up second down. Number 21 stuck close to his blockers, but the play folded quicker than an over-caffeinated origami artist. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Number 59 brings him down behind the line at the 21. Number 59 got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. Nice job eliminating any forward progress on that play. That will bring up a third and long. Number 14 throws this one over the middle, and it's tipped. Incomplete. Fourth down coming up. 
Sammy Sanchez read that one right out of the receiver's break and denied it. Yet another big play by this defense. That was their fifth batted ball today. Yeah, you can see them start to anticipate the path of the throw the minute the quarterback winds up. Number four gets ready to punt it away. Number four gets the ball and punts it away. Number one catches it at the 37. Brought down at the 39. Number one didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Renegades send their offense out on the field and will start this drive at their 39-yard line. Number two, zings to the right side and he's on target for a gain of five. Number one, had a defender close by but was able to bring down the catch. They move the ball and it will be second down. Second and five. Ball at the 44 yard line. Roll, roll, roll. I think two. Williams loses about three, and that brings up third down. Number 57. Credited with the tackle. Loss of three on the play. Number 57 keeps his man from getting back to the line. Let's watch. Pow! Oh, that's got to hurt. That's his second tackle so far. That's and that'll do it for quarter number one. The Renegades, with a small lead, three to nothing. Third down, empty backfield. Number two, get some air under this pass at this spot at the 31, 15, touchdown. Brian Walters fights for every inch of turf he can get. Watch here as he makes the catch. Right there, and then he runs for a few more. Classic overachiever, not unlike myself. Uh-huh. Big play to snare that one and put six on the board. He's got a nose for the end zone, Dan, and the ability to get there. Uh -huh. Coverage better tighten up, though, unless they want to see that play again. Extra point, and it's good. Number five kicks it off. Bailey catches it back at the five. Stop at the 26. Antonio Bailey got a very respectable return off that nice kickoff there, Dan. The Bandits, they have taken the field and they've been having a tough time passing the ball. They have another opportunity here as we start at their own 26-yard line. Number 21 catches it in the flat and that's good for a gain of five. Number 21 had nobody on him and when the quarterback saw that, he quickly shot him the ball. They move the ball and it will be second down. 
Second and five. Number 14, rifles this one hard over the middle, and it's intercepted. Pop hard at the 50. Number 59, bags the ball after his teammate tips it his way. That's great coordinated D, nice pick. I'm not saying they practiced that in preseason, but I did see some volleyball nets around training camp. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you gotta love D like that. The Renegades got into the end zone last time they had it, and they're looking to do it again. They'll start at the 50-yard line. the catch in the flat and that will be a gain of three yards number, number two zeroed in with the pass back there and leaves the two defenders empty-handed <laughs> what ball placement he's been on point with the short pass so far dan that pattern's worked so well we're probably going to see it over and over again well why not peter his receivers are open and making grabs and nobody has really stopped him from doing it second down two tight ends in the game <laughs> Number two, zips it to the left sideline, and the ball is caught for a gain of seven on the play. Number two, unleashes the fury on this one, Dan. He just slings it across the field. Check it out. I don't know how he found his man, but he did. The defense can't believe it either. A decent play, and they'll now face third and short. That's the key, Dan. Make third down easy, and they did just that. Now they just need to convert. We'll see what they do. Williams gets the call on third down, and hands wide left. Stopped at the 38. The Bandits have been down with only a three-man rush. The protection there was just weak at best. The defensive design worked flawlessly, and the refs will spot the ball well behind the original line of scrimmage. What a way to derail a series from the onset. Second and long ahead. Second down, two wideouts on the field. Number 40. Catches it left sideline and loses yards on that one. We have a flag on the play. Let's listen to the call. Neutral zone infraction, number 56. Defense, all drop penalty, repeat, second down. Steve Clark had crossed the plane made by the tips of the football on that last one, so he got the call for a neutral zone infraction. Second and ten from the Bandits, 38 yard. Down, set, wake up, wake up. Lock me, lock me. Number two throws this on a roll, and it's complete at the 24, and he's stopped right there. Number two sings this one perfectly. Great pass, great catch, great play. Let's have another look. Bullseye, what a precise throw. They keep doing plays like this. <laughs> he could be in big trouble. Great pass, Peter, and he's having a terrific day so far. You bet so far he's got 140 yards and no interceptions. coverage incomplete number 40 came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there that had potential for some yards peter but the defense was on top of it and shut it down good denial there second down coming up 
Second down, and this is the seventh play of the drive. to the right side and it falls incomplete. Number two was nailed by the oncoming rusher but got rid of it just in time. If complete, that would have made for a bit shorter third down play but not much. Not a lot of potential on that call. Third and ten from the Bandits, 24 yards. Number 34 tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Number 34 gets a hand on this one. Right there, that's how you play D. Yet another big play by this defense. That was their fifth batted ball today. Yeah, you can see them start to anticipate the path of the throw the minute the quarterback winds up. Fourth down, 10 yards to go. Number 12. Number five with the 41 yard attempt, and it's through the goal post and good. Number five sends it whizzing between the goal posts for a field goal straight down the pike. Number five sends it downfield. Bailey fields the kickoff at the four. Tackled at the 32. Antonio Bailey received that nice kick and a nice little run back after the catch. Good job. The Bandits were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their 32-yard line. Number 21 catches this one and picks up maybe a yard. Number 14 looked a little awkward as he threw that pass off the wrong foot, but the completion speaks for itself. When you have that kind of physical ability, you can make those throws. And I've seen a lot of short throws, but overall, there's really not much to show for it. Good catch, solid throw, but the ball just isn't moving far enough to make a difference. Third down, one man down. Number 14 just rifles this one, and it's tipped incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Number 46 anticipated the trajectory of that pass and stuck his hand in at the last moment. Great play. You know, Peter, if this were volleyball, that would have been the defense's sixth spike of the match. Yeah, the O keeps setting it up, and the D keeps sending it back. Number four lines up to punt after the three and out. Number four takes the snap and punts it away. Number one fields the punt at the 26. Tackled at the 32. Number one didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt.
The Renegades come out on offense and they are well ahead. They'll start this drive at their 32 yard line. Number two, zings it to the right side and it's complete at the 43, eventually tackled at the 47. Number 35 faces down two defenders and comes away with the football. Oh, nice catch. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. And let me tell you, Dan, hearing those chains move is one of the best sounds in the game for an offense. First down from the eye. Some nice yards after the catch. Killer effort. Another short, quick strike, and the defense looks helpless to stop this ball control strategy. Yeah, it's a great game plan this offense has been executing, no doubt about it. Number two makes the pass, and the catch is made at the 11. Brian Walters sees that he's singled out there and does just enough in that pattern to gain separation. Oh, he knew where he had to be and got his hands in position to haul that one in. This guy has earned his team big points today. That's why he's such a key player. Yeah, he knows how to make himself available in that part of the field, scoring his second touchdown of this contest. the point after and it's good. Number five kicks it off. Bailey catches it back at the three. The ball's loose. The visiting team has it. Left down at the 25. The Bandits are fading fast and desperately need to score. Their offense will start this drive at their own 25-yard line. Number 21 catches it in the flat and loses yards on that one. Number 21 couldn't quite get back to the line on that run and goes out of bounds. They could not get this one across the line, Peter. Not the best execution there in my book. True, but a bit of a loss on first isn't going to kill you. That'll bring up second right. down. Number 21 bulldozes right of center and shoots forward for nine yards. Third down, both wide outs to the right. Number 21 takes it off the toss and ends up field. Brought down at the 38. Number 21 played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. A big gain on third, and they will easily move the chain. Perfect call for the situation, Dan. No trouble in getting the first. Second and 
Johnson. Warren gets the call on second down and rambles for about five. Third down, three wideouts in the game. Number 14 fires this one over the middle, and they convert on third down. Number 14 threaded the ball back there to his man right past all that traffic. Good job. He's been on point with the short pass so far, Dan. That pattern's worked so well, we're probably going to see it over and over again. Well, why not, Peter? His receivers are open and making grabs, and nobody has really stopped him from doing it. Number 89 catches it over the middle, and that's a gain of seven on the play. Number 89 took on triple coverage and came away with a phenomenal catch. Well, you know, this is just not working. He made a good play on the ball, but for what? This team is always throwing short. Problem is, they're not picking up any significant yardage after the catch. Exactly. Number 21 takes the hand off, heads out right, tackled hard at the 39. First down, tight end to the left. First down, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. Jackson grabs the rope right side, and that's good for six. Ryan Jackson had two guys on him on that play, but still managed to make the catch. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Second and three. Ball at the... Number 14 throws a heater right sideline and it's complete for a gain of three yards. Ryan Jackson ran out of bounds there, well short of where he wanted to go. A decent play and they'll now face third and short. That's the key, Dan. Make third down easy and they did just that. Now they just need to convert. We'll see what they do. Number 21 takes it across the line and first picks up the first down. <laughs> Number 14 throws a bullet to the flat and the reception is made for a pickup of maybe a yard. Number 14 threw an awkward looking pass off the wrong foot, but it didn't matter. Still made the completion. Dan, I've seen a lot of short throws, but overall, there's really not much to show for it. Good catch, solid throw, but the ball just isn't moving far enough to make a difference. Second down, eight yards to go. Number 84 snags the missile and that's a touchdown. Number 84 makes the catch, but that's not enough for him. 
He gets it and takes off for more. Peter, this touchdown was a very important one. Well, it pulls them closer and keeps them in the game, Dan. They'll need more of the same if they want to pull this off, though. Number nine. Is back for the point after. Jordan on the hold. the point after and it's good. Number nine sends it downfield. Number one fields the kickoff at the four. Drop down at the 24. Number one tried to run it out, but the defense preferred that he stayed put, and they made their case pretty forcefully there. The Renegades come out on the field and are looking to extend their lead before the break. They'll start at their own 24-yard line. him down in the backfield and the clock continues to run. Antonio Bailey read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. That's his third tackle of the game. Second down and four wideouts in the game. Good for a gain of five. Number two, right at the ball back there to his man, right past all that traffic. Good job. You know, I love what this passing scheme accomplishes game in and game out. We're seeing the steam coming from this offensive engine big time. They're looking hard to stop. Third down, the clock is now at three. And that'll do it for the first half of this one. The Renegades enjoying the lead 20 to seven. Well, Dan, what do you say? You ready to dive into the 2K Sports Halftime Show? Now a look at our halftime comparison. And as you can see, total yards definitely tell the story thus far. The Renegades are winning because of it. Let's see if they can keep up their dominance in the second half. We'll pick up the action midway through the first quarter. After driving 37 yards on seven plays, number five is summoned for the field goal attempt. Good snap, good spot, good kick. Hey, three points, a 36-yard field goal. The Renegades get the first points of the game and go up by three. Now early in the second quarter, the ball at their own 40. Walters was definitely a key player as he was able to work his way open for a big one here. A 59-yard touchdown for the home team. Later on in the second quarter, the Bandits behind by 10. Number 59 would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. The Renegades, still early in the second quarter, number five, would be called upon for the field goal try, and he'd come through. A 42-yard field goal. The Renegades winning 13 to nothing. Number two connected with his man on this one. A 36-yard touchdown for the home team. The Renegades have opened it up and now lead by 20. Trying to answer back, the Bandits already inside field goal range. Number 84 had to work to find an opening, but he was able to haul this one in. A 25-yard touchdown for the visitors. And that will do it. The Renegades are up big at the half, 20 to seven. All right, good work, partner. The Bandits get the ball first this half, and they could use a score right out of the gates to get back into this one. They currently trail 20 to seven. Now let's get to the game.
Number five. Boots the second half kickoff away. Bailey fields the second half kickoff at the five. Stop at the 27. Antonio Bailey was able to find some weak spots in the defense. Got a good run back off that kick. 27 yards. The Bandits must feel like they need to score this timeout. This drive will start at their own 27-yard line. Number 53 takes him down back at the 24. Number 53 got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. Another tackle, and he's starting to fill up the stat book. He is dominating, Dan. So far, he's got five tackles. Number 14 floats this one out to the right sidelines, and they can't connect. Incomplete. Ryan Jackson had that ball in his hands on that play, and then he just dropped it. Third drop of the game for him, Peter. And look, the coach looks absolutely frustrated. Oh, yeah, Dan. Mistakes can kill what you're trying to accomplish on offense. No doubt about it. Third down, one man back. Number 89 catches this one, and they get the first on third and long. Number 89 hugs the sidelines there and comes up with a huge run past the markers. Outstanding. You know, speaking of hugs, Peter, yeah? we have never in all of our years of broadcasting together ever really hugged. Well, remember that time in Dallas that yeah. we uh, wrestled over that big plate of baby back ribs? That sort of counts, doesn't it? <laughs> Third and long, and they get the big play to convert. What do you think of that, Peter? I love it. That's what football is all about, making the big plays when you need to, and you can't coach that. Number 14 throws this it's caught at the 48. Antonio Price had two guys on him on that play, but still managed to make the catch. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. And let me tell you, Dan, hearing those chains move is one of the best sounds in the game for an offense. Number 21. For his 11th carry and will gain close to six. Roberto Smith is the reason that last play was successful. He opened up a huge hole for the ball carrier, allowing him to gain some valuable yards. They move the ball and it will be second down. Second down, two wideouts on the field. Number 21 gets the toss and will end up losing a bunch here. Number 53, the loss, seven on the play. Number 53 is not going to let them get back to the line here. Look how he just rolls into the backfield and just lays out the ball carrier. He's quick and he knows how to hurt a guy. He's now up to six tackles. Third and ten from the Bandits, 47 yards. is the incompletion. Fourth down coming up. Sammy Sanchez couldn't have read that play any better if it was tattooed on the inside of his helmet. Oh, for... This uh, is getting <laughs> ridiculous. The offense just cannot get the ball past the reach hey. of these defenders. You're right, Dan, and that's been one of the big stories of this game. Number four lines up for the punt. Number four takes the snap and punts it away. Number one makes a fair catch at the 10.
The Renegades. Offense First takes the field, and they have a way to go. They'll begin at their own 11-yard line. Number one grabs the fastball over the middle and is well past the markers for a first down. 16 yards on the play. First down, Renegade. Number two throws right past the coverage and into his receiver's hands. Nice throw. Great pass, Peter, and he's having a terrific day so far. You right. bet so far he's got 229 yards and two touchdowns. stop at the 23. Number 94 read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. Peter, they put an end to that play well in the backfield, and they had a real good read on that. Yeah, it all starts with the guys up front, Dan, and then everybody follows. Second down coming up. Rex Williams had that ball in his hands on that play, and then he just dropped it. That's a good example of how he's not yet reached his full potential. First drop pass of the game for him, and his quarterback hopes it's his last. Third down, empty backfield. Number two throws a bullet here. And they get the first on third and long. Attack with complete to Barrett. A pickup on 21 on the play. First down. Renegade. Number two uncorks a dynamite pass there with two defenders on the prowl. Really incredible accuracy, but I'll tell you, that's got a sting if you're on the defense. Righto, Dano. You know, they could have brought eight guys on that play. Wouldn't have made a difference. Well, I, I don't know if any defensive adjustments were made at halftime, Peter. I sure can't tell. <laughs> this quarterback just knows how to make everyone play his game. In his third great quarter, he's still forcing the D to play by reaction, Dan, which takes control right out of their hands. Six yards on the play. Number 70 got a nice sack in the backfield that sent this offense backpedaling. Spin class? <laughs> That's funny. As if I still work out. That'll be his first sack of the game. Second and 16 from Will Winnegan, 38 yards. Number two, airs this one to the left sideline, and it's tipped, incomplete. Number 40, anticipated the trajectory of that pass and stuck his hand in at the last moment. Great play. That's the second time he slapped that ball out of there. Excellent read and reaction skills make him a nightmare to try and get the ball passed. Third down, and this is the seventh play of the drive. First on third and long. He picks up 18 yards on the play. First down. Rex Williams had three guys covering him, but look what happens. Incredible catch. Whoa, this is a nice surprise. The coaches have made him involved, resulting in yet another catch. Yeah, working your runner into the throwing scheme poses huge matchup problems for the defense, and you saw it there. Williams has his number called on first down and the game close to six. Rex Williams played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. They move the ball and it will be second down. Second and three from the Bandits, 38 yards.
Williams gets the call again and gains about three yards. Number 94 made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. That's his third tackle of the game. Third and inches. Brings up fourth down. Number 55 made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. The defense's back was against the wall, and they rose to the challenge, Peter. Yeah, Dan, that's great deep. They had to make a stand here, and they stood together. It will be fourth down. Fourth down, and they're going for it. Williams gets the call on fourth down, and searches for the hole. Not cold, but it doesn't matter. They have the first down at the 34. They convert the fourth, and there's some excited faces down there on the field. Oh, boy, nothing can amp up an offense like a big play. That's how you get the first. And that's what they've got, first down. Finally makes the play, but not in time. Let's have another look. Oh, yeah, gave up a lot of yards before forcing him out of bounds. That's tackle number six for him. Good game so far. Oh, definitely. First down, just a single receiver on the field. Williams takes his 13th carry of the game and barely gets past the line of scrimmage for a negligible gain on the play. Tackle made by number 54. No gain on the play. Let's go! Second and nine. Number two throws a bullet to the flat and it's complete for a gain of three yards. Park with the tackle. Third and seven from the Bandits, 14 yard line. Number 40 mishandles this one and drops it incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Number 40 looked like he was all over that one, but it just got away somehow. Tough incompletion. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down, Dan. And when you don't convert, it really hurts. Number 12. Number five kicks it from 31 yards and puts it through. It's good. Number five puts in an easy short one. A clean kick, no worries. They'll take the three points, but they were hoping for seven. But that's the second time today they get close only to have to bring in the kicker. Number five sends it downfield. Bailey fields it way back at the three. Jukes stopped at the 24. 
Antonio Bailey received that nice kick and a nice little run back after the catch. Good job. The Bandits are on the field, and they have not produced well at all. They're looking for an answer as they start this drive at their own 24-yard line. Number 21 goes right up the middle and picks up a couple. Pick up a two yards on the Number 56, credited with the tackle. Second down, all three receivers to the right. Number 87, it in right side, and that's good for a gain of five. Number 87 easily overcomes the double coverage to nab the football. Perfect synchronization by the quarterback and the receiver. Way to get open. He was shut out the first half, but with that catch, he gets an opportunity to make up for it here in the third. He ran a great route and gave his quarterback a nice target to throw to. That's textbook. Number 14 throws a bullet to the flat, and it's tipped. Incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Number 43 came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. Oh, for this uh, is getting uh, ridiculous. Uh, 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 the offense just cannot get the ball past the reach of these defenders. You're right, Dan, and that's been one of the big stories of this game. Number four lines up to punt after the three and out. Number four gets the snap and punts it away. Number one feels it at the 27. Hammered down at the 29. Number one got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The Renegades passed well last time out. We'll see if they stick to the passing game as they start this drive at their own 29-yard line. Williams chews up four yards, and that will bring up second down. A pickup of four yards on the play. Number four credited with the tackle. Hey. Second and five. Ball at the... Plummer tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Gary Plummer anticipated the trajectory of that pass and stuck his hand in at the last moment. Great play. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Third and five. Number two throws a bullet to the flat, and it's complete. Short of the markers, however. That will bring up fourth down. Rex Williams ran out of bounds there, well short of where he wanted to go. No room on that play, and they'll face a fourth down. Number 14 lines up for the punt. Number 14 takes the snap and punts it away. Bailey fields the front at the 22. Tackled at the 24. Antonio Bailey got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The Bandits stalled early last drive. We'll have to see what happens here. We'll start at their own 24-yard line.
Number 14 fires this one over the middle and it's knocked away from the receiver incomplete. Number 14 takes a big chance on this one, throwing it into zone double coverage. Whew, lucky for him, everybody missed it. Let's have a look. Yep, incomplete pass. He's got to use his head better next time. Peter, they cannot seem to connect on the long ball. They've taken some shots there, but it, nothing is working. Yeah, their timing is off. They need to go to shorter passes. Let's go. Second and ten. Number 21 picks up six on the play, and that brings up third down. Number 21 got yards by staying so close to his blockers, I think they were sharing each other's aftershave. They move the ball, and that'll bring up third down. Third down from the eye. Number 14 throws a heater, and the reception's made at the 37. Finally stopped at the 45. It will be first down. Number 87 is all by himself, and he'll take advantage of it. Easy catch. Well, you know, this is just not working. He made a good play on the ball, but for what? This team is always throwing short. Problem is, they're not picking up any significant yardage after the catch. Exactly. And that'll do it for the third quarter. The Renegades enjoying the lead 23-7. Good for a gain of five. Ryan Jackson easily outclassed his defender on that catch, and he had that play all the way. When is enough enough? I mean, really. He finally corrals that last one, but only after a slew of missed opportunity. Well, I question going to a guy after so many unsuccessful attempts. But, yeah. But they have faith in him, and it resulted in a completion that time. Number 74 tackles him for a short loss. Number 74 got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. They don't let that play get back to the line of scrimmage, and that will bring up third down. Third down with the tight end right. it away on the coverage incomplete fourth down coming up sammy sanchez hurt his hips to get into position and tip that ball away solid coverage for the third time today he gets enough of that pass to force it incomplete well at this point dan why do you keep trying to throw through him it's very risky number four gets ready to punt it away Number four takes the long snap and punts it away. Number one feels it at the 12. Brought down at the 18. Number one didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Renegades send their offense out on the field and will start this drive at their own 18-yard line. Number 40 makes a play on this one and forces the incompletion. Number 40 knocked that pass down. And he made sure the only one to touch the football was him. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Second down, two receivers to the left.
Number two throws this one over the middle, and it's complete at the 45, 35, 25, 20. Finally stopped at the 13. First down. Number 81 makes one beauty of a play here. He catches the football, but he sees he's got some room to move, and he ends up with a phenomenal run. Gotta love seeing open field like that in front of you. Peter, what a fantastic play. Well, I tell you, it looks like there's more than one way to make the chain gang get some exercise. <laughs> and let me tell you, they could use it. Come on, fellas, put a little sprint in your step. This one will fall incomplete. Number 88 was all thumbs. That one bounced right out of the mitt. Potential for some nice yards, but it falls incomplete. That will bring up second down. Second and 10 from the Bandits, 13 yard line. Number two fires this one over the middle, and he's on target for a gain of five. Number two rolled the dice by targeting the receiver with two defenders near him. But the pass clicked, and they'll move the ball. You have to respect this offensive game plan. That was their third connection downfield today, Peter. Yep, the coaches must have found a weak spot in that secondary. Third down with two tight ends to the right. up first down there's a penalty marker on the play let's listen into the call holding number 73 offense 10 yard penalty from the spot of the foul repeat third down number 73 clearly held his man back there offensive holding was the right call Third and 14 from the Bandits, 18 yard. Number two, just right with this one, and the reception is made past the markers for a first down. Number two throws right past the coverage and into his receiver's hands. Nice throw. Again, he uses the middle of the field to advance the football. And uh -huh. Dan, why not? Well, they, they found some seams, some crease right in the middle, and well, they feel they can take advantage of it at any time. Well, we got an excellent running tandem in the backfield, Dan. Watch out for them here. Williams will get the handoff and runs into traffic. Stop at the one. Second down, goal to go. Here we go. Here we go. We did it. We did it. Watch the right side. Watch the right side. I got over here. I got over here. Williams loses about three, and that will bring up third down. Green Northrup read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. That's his second tackle so far. Third and goal. the incompletion that will bring up fourth and goal steve clark wouldn't have read that play any better if it was tattooed on the inside of his helmet oh for this oh. is getting ridiculous the oh. offense just cannot get the ball past the reach of these defenders you're right dan and that's been one of the big stories of this game fourth down and the field goal unit is on the field Thank <laughs> you. 
Number five with a 21-yarder, and it's through the goal post and good. Number five puts in an easy short one. A clean kick, no worries. Although they get the field goal, that's the third time they've had to settle for three points from the red zone. Can't be happy with that. Nope, you always want to punch it in when you're close in like that. Number five kicks it off. Bailey fields the kickoff at the four. Stopped at the 24. Antonio Bailey tried to run it out, but the defense preferred that he stayed put, and they made their case pretty forcefully there. The Bandits have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive that starts at their own 24-yard line. Number 14 zings it to the right side and it's complete at the 24, tackled at the 27. Number 84 had just one guy on him and makes the most of it. And he schooled that guy so bad, I can smell the chalk dust. You know, I, I haven't the faintest idea, Peter, why they keep throwing underneath. The yards really aren't adding up. Yeah, receivers are doing what they can to catch the ball, but at some point they gotta move forward to make it worthwhile. Number 53 takes the hit in the backfield at the 26. Number 53 got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. Peter, he's been lighting up the defensive side of the ball today and getting some nice numbers out of it. You bet. So far, he's got seven tackles. Third down, seven yards to go. Number 14 fires this one over the middle, and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. 15 on the play. First down, Bandits. Ryan Jackson is just crazy good on this play, Dan. He refuses to be intimidated by triple coverage. I would have tried to throw somewhere else, I think. Oh, but it didn't matter. He made the catch. Great job. Well, you know, this is just not working. He made a good play on the ball, but for what? This team is always throwing short. Problem is, they're not picking up any significant yardage after the catch. Exactly. <laughs> Number 43 makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Number 43 came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. The defense stood up to that play and shuts down what would be a minimal gain anyway. It'll be second down. Second and ten. Number 14 goes it to the left sideline, and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. First down, Bandits. Number 20 makes the play here, but not fast enough. This one's going to count. Check it out. Yep, he pushes him out, but past the marker. They can't pin him down on second and long, and now it's first and 10. Very disappointing execution by this defense. First down, three wideouts in the game. Number 84 catches the heater left sideline and picks up four on the play. Number 14 showed all the grace and poise of a cross-eyed stork wearing hip waders with that wrong foot pass, but he still connects. He's been on point with the short pass so far, Dan. That pattern's worked so well, we're probably going to see it over and over again. Well, why not, Peter? His receivers are open and making grabs, and nobody has really stopped him from doing it. Number 14 just rifles this one, and it's caught just barely past the markers for the first.
Number 84 makes a tough catch and is well past the markers for a first down. Number 14 to the right sideline and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. Number 21 catches it left sideline and loses yards on that one. Number 21 lost yards on that play back there. You got to get some yards before you can run out of bounds, fella. They couldn't force this one across the line, and so that'll bring up second down. Seven forced the offense back a few yards with a terrific sack in the backfield. Peter, he's really gotten after the quarterback in this game. Oh, you can say that again. So far, he's got three tackles and two sacks. Fourth down, goal to go. Number nine kicks it from 32 yards and squeezes it inside the right goal post. Number nine kicks the field goal, but watch how close the ball gets to the upright. Man, a few more inches and he'd have made the highlight reel. Not the way he would have wanted to, though. Number nine bounces it up there. Number 31 beats the receiving team to the punch and scoops up the onside kick. They say the kicking team has about a one in four chance of recovering the onside kick. Well, with guys like him around, you may want to recalculate those odds. They opted for the onside, and in retrospect, it was a good decision. Great work by the hands team. And gutsy play calling, too. It worked out beautifully. The Bandits came away with three last time and are looking for more. They'll start this drive at their 40-yard line. Number 14 tosses it out left side, and the ball is caught for a gain of seven on the play. Jackson gets a piece of this one, but that's all incomplete. Ryan Jackson looks frustrated. Could only get a fingertip on that last rifle. Well, you know, at some point it becomes the coach's fault for leading him in there. Yeah, after five drop balls, Dan, you'd think it would just stop being thrown in his direction. Number 14 fires this one over the middle, and they convert on third down. First down, tight end to the left. Number 89 catches this one and picks up four on the play. Number 14 throws a bullet and it's tipped incomplete. Number 59 read that one right out of the receiver's break and denied it. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. fourth down. Ryan Jackson had that ball in his hands on that play and then he just dropped it. Well, after three mental lapses, it may be time to stop throwing to him. I mean, what do you think? Yeah, Dan, my sentiments exactly. Okay, come on now. After four drop throws, you shouldn't be allowed to play anymore. Go home! <laughs> Amen. Fourth down and they're going for it. Number 
number 14. Rifles it out left side and it falls incomplete. They will turn the ball over on down. Number 89 tried to make the catch over the middle, but couldn't make the grab. The fourth down conversion just doesn't materialize for them. And that was a short one, too. Once you make the decision to go for it, you got to execute. They don't and will turn it over. The Renegades take the field, and can they capitalize on the defensive stop? We'll find out as they start this drive at their 42-yard line. Williams loses two, and that brings up second down. Number 57 got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. That will be his fourth tackle of the contest. Second and 11. Ball is at 40 yards. Second down, the clock is stopped at two minutes. The Bandits take their first time out. Third down, and they line up with three tight ends. Williams gets the toss and runs into trap. The Bandits will take a timeout. That's their second. Number 40 targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. Another tackle, and it seems like we're always calling his name. What a hitting machine in the secondary. He's definitely carrying his weight back there. Number 14 lines up to punt after the three and out. Here I come, punter. I'm coming. I'm about to punt. Number 14 gets the ball and punts it away. Bailey fields the punt at the 22. Dragged down at the 23. Antonio Bailey didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Bandits start this drive of the game from well in their own territory, and the clock at 144. Jackson grabs the rope right side, and he's got the first. The clock continues to tick down. Number 14 lofts this one out to the left, and the big catch is made with daylight in front of him. Five, touchdown! Number 89 is going to make a great play right here snags the football, and then really turns on the juice. Big play to snare that one and put six on the board. He's got a nose for the end zone, Dan, and the ability to get there. Uh -huh. Coverage better tighten up, though, unless they want to see that play again. They will go for the two-point no conversion. Are attempting a two-point conversion. Forces him out of bounds for a loss, and that will stop the two-point conversion.
Number nine bounces it up there. Number 84 collects it at the 43. Tackled at the 43. Number 48 will be credited with the tackle. Number 84 wasn't going to let a miracle happen on this onsides. It comes his way and then gets his hands around it to put the offense out on the field. Great work by this hands team. Peter, they had to try the onsides kick there, so you can't fault them for their decision calling on the matter. Absolutely not, Dan. Just didn't work out for them. Number the bandits all the time out. Number 12 takes a knee and the clock will tick down. Third and 13 from the Bandits, 46 yards. Number 12 takes a knee, and that will do it. And that is going to do it for this one. The Renegades come out on top 26 to 16. With that, let's look back at some of the plays that made the difference in this one. So, the ball game is over. Let's take a quick look back at how it went with our post-game show. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Number 14 went up top on a third down play and he was able to find his man. Unfortunately, the drive stopped shortly afterwards and they had to punt it away. The Renegades, still early in the third. Number two went up top on a third down play and he was able to find his man. That set up a 32 yard field goal. Towards the end of the third quarter, the Bandits behind by 16. Number 87 ran a terrific route here and was able to pull this one in. The Renegades, later in the fourth, number 81 came up with a big play as he was able to pull this one in. That set up an easy 22-yard field goal. The Renegades leading 26-7. Number 14 went to the air trying to convert on third down and he found his man. That set up a 33-yard field goal. The Bandits trying to make something happen and are now down by 16. Late into the fourth quarter, the ball at their own 35-yard line. Number 89 emerged as a real weapon as he pulled one in here. A 65-yard touchdown for the visitors. And that's where we'll have to leave this one. The Renegades come away with a win, 26 to 16. Let's take a moment to recognize the 2K Sports player of the game. Brian Walters dominated the game like a true legend. 
He was the focus of the offense in this one, making big catch after big catch on his way to some big numbers. When a receiver asserts himself like that, it doesn't go unnoticed. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time.